welcome back. We are here at Roots and Wings Distillery. Super excited for today's class because I am here with my mom and we are doing our charcuterie board class. So this weekend is just all about spending time with my mom. We are going to learn how to cut the cheese, do a salami rose, and I'll take you around the distillery and show you what it's about. Currently here in Langley, BC. is happening today in a shipping container. How many people can say they've had a charcuterie making class in a shipping container? And it is adorable. There's beautiful roses. Everything is set up in terms of the kit and also free coffee. Who doesn't love free coffee in the morning? With my mom. Are you excited? I'm so excited. That's good. Class is about to begin. Settling into my seat as we begin to start to build our boxes through this step-by-step -step tutorial where we learn how to elevate your charcuterie game to new heights. In today's box, we have cured meats from Italy, which are nice, salty, and marbly. Charcuterie is supposed to be eaten at room temperature to allow the fat to sweat. There is a brie chunk, dried figs and dates, cheese bag that includes gruyere and Swiss, which is a bit more mild than a standard, pickles and olives. These olives are meaty Castel Vetrano olives from Italy. Hopefully I didn't butcher that name. We also have some fruit berries that are going to be used not as a main ingredient, but as a pop of color. They are the most eye appeasing texture and flavor in our box today. Creating a salami rose is a fun and creative way to garner your dishes. The first step is taking four salami pieces and layer them on top of each other in a perfect line, about an inch in between. Don't worry if it's tighter, you'll be pulling out a little bit more at the end. Next, you are going to layer the next two to three pieces and place them down on the salami line you just created closer to the right hand side. I'm going to squish my salami pieces together to help in the rolling process. Use all your fingers at the same time and roll away your salami stack. You can start from one end of the salami slice and work your way towards the end. It's starting to look like a salami rose, but when they are fully bloomed, they are so much nicer. So let's finesse our rose by pulling some of the pieces out from the side to create a fuller look. You'll also notice there is a bit of a hole in the middle of the rose. Don't worry about that. Just take one salami piece, fold it in half, fold two triangles on top of each other, and pop in the middle of your rose to complete the look. Place crackers to the side of your box. I'll be adding the nuts here as well. And lastly, the jam. Add your grapes to the right side corner of your box. Take one cube cheese, place it at the bottom right side of your box, and then your brie chunk on top of it to create some elevation. I place a salami rose next to the brie, and now I will add the hard cheese to the side of the box. Tilt them up a bit so you can really see that spike. As you build your box, you might realize certain areas are quite full. Always rearrange. Here we want to rest a mini cup next to your brie for your pickles and olives. Scatter the rest of your cube cheese on top of your brie. Here you can see we are creating dimensions by raising levels. Found a little tiny corner with some space to add my three dates in. Now strategically start with your pickles. Place them in the mini cup. Once you're done that, Add as many olives to your heart's desire. I personally don't eat pickles or olives, so this will go to my mom, but it adds extra color to my box. Almost there. Time for my favorite items, fruit. Spread them around to give your box a pop of color. The blackberries is going to pop the most, so you want to lay them where your cheese is to balance out the colors. The final item is to place your fig in an area in your box where you think there needs to be more color or texture. Mine will go right here at the bottom left.
just got a goodie bag. Thank you kindly. Oh, and there's also another surprise. Drinks. This one's non-alcoholic, obviously. I have a baby. Cheers. Mom got the one with alcohol. Mine was refreshing. Here's our goodie bag. Inside the goodie bag, there was a delicious cake jar from Just Cakes Red Velvet. We also received this coconut and oat milk bath. I've never tried this before, but I think I'm going to enjoy it. And free is always great. Almost lunchtime. Going to decide just to eat it right now instead of drive home and then eat it. I'm actually quite hungry. And my mom has already started.